Hey, this is Dr. Jason. I am here with Arts today. Today we're going to talk about what I am learning called ischias, which is in America, it's called sciatica. There's a nerve that runs through your glute that can sometimes manifest pain. It'll manifest pain here. It'll manifest pain down into the back of your knee. When it gets really bad, it'll manifest pain all the way down into your heel. So what we're looking at today is his right side. You can see is a little bit lower than his left side. This is caused from this area here in his low back. This area being tight and tense can irritate the nerve that comes down into the low back. What ends up happening is the sciatica or the ischias ends up kind of showing or manifesting the pain, but that's not where the pain is generated from. The pain is generated from up here. So we're going to go through some tests some work, some treatments. I'm going to work on him a little bit. We're going to see if we can release this, see if we can balance out his shoulders Release the tension in this area, avoiding any sort of sciatica or ischias pain. Okay, so now we have the patient laying on his stomach. His arms are up, which opens up this whole area and allows me to get to the area that I'm treating. This area that I'm looking for is called the QL, or the quadratus lumborum. It attaches the low rib to the hip, the top part of the hip. It's sometimes sensitive, and it's, you don't want to go right at that area. You don't want to drive a lot of force in there. You're going to let the torque and the amplitude of the theragun work through that area. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of assess from the shoulder down to the back of the leg. All through here, we're going to find that the tension is here. I'm going to focus on this area. As I'm doing this, I'm assessing for tissue density differences. And I just let this kind of float in my hand. If you look at the way I'm holding onto the Theragun, I'm just literally floating this over the areas. And I can definitely feel in here, you can see, I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but it's really hopping and jumping a lot. And that tells me that that muscle is not happy. It needs a little bit of relaxing. So I'll work that area just a little bit. And what I'm watching for is I want to see that rattle. I want to see that inconsistent ther percussion. And you can see it's already kind of gone away a little bit. That's a really good response. I'll come up the, the middle back. I'm going to come all the way up to the shoulder blade. Down around here. I'm going to slowly come back again. Yeah, that muscle's really relaxed now. It's not, it's, it's not upset, it's not pushing back at me. I'm gonna come down to the SI joint. I'm gonna slowly come out into that glued area. Now, I talked about that sciatic nerve or the ischias nerve. It comes right through here and down the back of the leg. I'm gonna go on that path, but I'm not going to apply more pressure. I'm just letting the theragun float on that area. right down to the bottom of the glute, down into the back of the hamstring. Sometimes when the patient's laying face down, I'll bend the knee just to take the tension off the back of the hamstring. It's sometimes a little bit more comfortable for the patient. I'll move this leg around a little bit. Kind of open this up. Now I'm going to have you take this arm, I'm going to just kind of rest this, pull it way over there, like this. I want you to cross this leg over this leg, like that. We're just trying to open this up a little bit. Stretch that out. Get a little bit of pressure, last little sweep down through the glute. Let's test and see how we did. Okay, so you can see that was probably a two to three minute treatment. We were able to release this and I could feel the tension loosen a little bit. 
His shoulder's still a little bit dropped, but it's not as bad. One of the things you're going to see, and this is on people in general, if they're right hand dominant or left hand dominant, you can see how this whole shoulder is a little bit more compact than this side. The space between his body and his elbow is a little bit different. None of that is bad. It's just our body being dynamic. We're never super balanced. That's just how we are as, as humans. So it's important to understand, I'm looking for release in this area. Most of the time, the reason I'd be treating this, if he's not experiencing pain, it would be because we're working on the ischias or that sciatic area. When you're treating this area, a lot of times the pain is manifested in the ischias or the sciatica. This usually comes from sitting for long periods of time, getting up and doing a fast, quick movement, sleeping in a really different kind of a pattern. But most of it is from sitting not being active and loosening up here and here. So pay attention to that. Theragun is a great product to use yourself. He can actually have access to this by himself. So if I have him put his thumb in this area, kind of run the gun over the area himself, this is something that he could do to maintain the pain and the, the tension relief over time.